Hi, I'm Dave Barnes. And I'm John McLaughlin. And welcome to Dadville. Dadville is a podcast where we talk about life, love, and the pursuit of awesome dadding. It's funny thoughts and deep talks. So please, enjoy your time here in Dadville and enjoy this episode with... Dave and me. Gosh, we laugh, don't we, John? <laughs> we do. We have fun. Uh, and I've got a joke for you, speaking Let's of laughing. Let's keep it going, Here we go. go. It's a dad joke. I want to temper it that way, okay? okay? Let's hear it. How did the golf course beat the tennis court in a game of basketball? Uh, you got me, Dave. What? I don't know. Well, I haven't, I haven't said the punchline yet. Oh, okay. okay. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Because the golf course had athletic greens. <laughs> athletic greens. Yeah, I get yeah. it. And you know what, Dave? What? Athletic Greens is actually our next partner. Oh, that's so coincidental. Yeah. Now, while we're talking about Athletic Greens, I would like to say that I take AG1 by Athletic Greens literally, literally. every day. Every day. I gave it a try because I wanted to increase my energy and my immune system support, yep. Yep. and it makes me feel unstoppable. You look unstoppable, Thank John. You. AG1 gives us gut and mood support, boosted energy, and even healthier looking skin, hair, and nails. Mm-hmm. And it nails. eliminates the stress of trying to keep up with a supplement routine uh-uh. that comes with a bunch of different products. John. I don't want it. Hard it's the pass. healthiest thing you can do in under a minute. Plus, AG1 is delivered to you every month, so it's easy to make a daily habit of it. That's right. I also get the single serving travel packs, Dave. Mm-hmm. You know how I love to not stay in one place. Yeah. So I never have to miss a day. I just mix the powder into some ice cold water, drink it first thing each morning, boom, That's it. unstoppable. That is it. If you're looking for an easier way to take supplements, Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs. John, you can go five different places. Five or you can go to two places, go to one three times, times. and the other one, one two, two times. times. With your first purchase, they're going to give you all that, John. That's right. Go to athleticgreens.com slash dadville. That's athleticgreens.com slash dadville. Check, Check it, it out. out. Check. Sunshine. John, Maybe singing my new single. Better. Don't do that, John. Don't you sing my new single. <laughs> Believe it or not, it actually sounds better if you listen to the, the real thing. <laughs> I don't know. If I got that song stuck in my head now. It's going to be in my head all day long. You know, since I think since our last John and Dave, we both released singles. Yeah. I think that my single came out right after we uh, recorded just the two of us last time. It's and called the only came one. Out. It's the a bop. One. It's a super bop. It's and one. this is where I got to give a shout Your out words, to JM. Okay, I got to give a shout out to JM because John produced that all by himself. He has grown up, which and... I did not want to. <laughs> just to be clear, so I just want people to be, for anyone who's listening to it and is like, oh, it could have been produced better. Who produced this? Let me just explain myself for a second. So I had written this song. And I had intentionally not tried to make a demo Mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. Because typically what we'll do is if we have a song that we've written, we'll we'll open up Logic, which is like GarageBand kind of a thing. And you just make a little piano vocal of it or something like that. Maybe you add in some drums or whatever, guitar. And I'm like, I'm not going to do that with this song because I love, I really love this song. So someone else needs to produce it. Someone who actually can produce and there, w- it was one day where I just had writer's block and I just couldn't, I was sitting at the piano in my little shed and I just, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to, let's just do a piano vocal yeah. of the only one. <laughs> Stop there. Yeah. I'm just going to have a little sliver of this cake. Yeah. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I got to, the brownie thing has to be straight. It's, so if I don't cut we there. We need right angles. It's, <laughs> it's just, and so... So I record it on the little plug-in piano, and then I'm like, you know what? Let, let me mic up my piano. <laughs> Just a little more. That's and, not a And writing. you know what? It actually, the, the big turning point was I use this uh, app called Splice, and there was, on, serendipitously, there was on the like, homepage for this app, there was a pack of Motown like drums and samples and stuff like that. And I listened to the first little sample thing, and I was like, that's the sound. That's it. That's the sound of this song. Wow. So I bought that pack, and I, you, know, you just start going through. And it was so fun. Yeah. And I, I just did a lot of cardinal sins that I should never do, where I'm like, 
That's really I the name grabbed of the electric guitar off the wall, which I should never do. <laughs> no, that's not true. Ever. And I just started, it, it's just so fun. Well, you came over, you came over and played it for me. I remember uh, I was mowing and listening you to it. You hated it. And I was like, you need to hire someone. No. <laughs> I thought this And I sounds... looked at your yard and I was like, so do you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and that's fair. And that is fair. Um, but I remember thinking, this sounds awesome. And I think that's one of the first things that we talked about. I was like, dude, you need to just put this out. Like, don't. You nailed it. I thought mm. I just felt. And it sounds so good. Thank you. Which I know produ- I know you've produced yourself before. I don't mean to infer that you haven't. But Well, yeah. But you know. there, are, there are many examples that I could play for you where I'm like, here are the reasons why I shouldn't produce music. <laughs> I produced well, I this think it's track. I it's a really, track. really but good I, song. But I do need to say, uh, Rich Brinsfield yep. came in and played the bass. Yep. Um, of Drew Holcomb and the Neighbors. Yes. Uh, Lucas Morton played organ. There are like a couple things where it's like, you still can't fake that stuff yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Um, but it's so good. It's Micah, so good. Micah Talks mixed Micah, it. MT mixing it up. Who uh, also mixed Sunshine. Oh, that's right. Yeah, my song. Yeah. Yeah. Who, segue to your song. I guess my time's over. Um, <laughs> you produced your song, too. I did. I did. You're like a you're a real producer, though. No, you no, can no. produce. No, I don't know about that. Um, yeah, I, I just but big shout out to Micah. He's great. He's he so he, great. he makes and produce works his new stuff, uh-huh. which we were just talking about before this. How much we love. If y'all haven't heard Matt Wirtz, his new music, people, I really think it's some of the best music it ever is. made. It is. It's he and really, Micah really made good. a fantastic record. And these singles he's been dropping, the, recently the one he just released, maybe my favorite off the record. It is recently. so good. Matt is at his full strength and force. Yeah. And he is not to be trifled with. Um, should you want to trifle with him? Trifle. Is Does that, that right? mean like fight or something? It's like a culinary fight. It's like truffle and, and yeah. fighting. <laughs> it's an Italian word. Um, John, check in. How you doing? Um, Before we get to the body of this pod. Um, You want me to be honest? Yeah. I'm actually doing great. What? (laughs) I didn't know where that was going. (laughs) I was like, wow, we're about to have a... I'll be completely honest with you. I'm doing great. And here's why. Okay. Uh, School is back in sesh. Mm -hmm. Session. Yep. Um, for the older listeners, yeah, and <laughs> or young, really young, or the, or the really young <laughs> who just aren't speaking yet. Um, school is back in session, and which is so great. And it, you know, I wouldn't be doing great. I mean, you hear that, and you're like, oh, he's just happy that his kids are gone for eight hours a day. And let me be clear, that's part of it. But I'm also, they are doing great in school, and they're loving oh, school, love and they're that's loving great. their teachers, and they're, I mean. Hey, this morning, Luca was showing me some of the stuff that she's going to do for science today. And I just, like, I could have started crying looking at her. Just, she's, she's so, just, like, unapologetically excited about that they're building a tower in science today. She's so excited. And, and with her being my oldest, there's always, I always, I'm always looking at her or whatever she's doing through the lens of this is going to be over in five minutes. Yeah, I know. This I know. sort of it's, like it's fleeting. This this sort of like again the unapologetic like I'm just excited about yeah. something. Yeah. You know, like maybe not, but like when she's 14, she's going to mask all that. She's going to feel yeah. like, well, I can't let those emotions. Yeah. I got to be cool. You yeah. know. So that that's been great. Like it, getting back into a routine has been great. And in the mornings, I don't know why this is happening, and I just pray to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, (laughs) that it continues. But our girls are like, they set their alarms for 6.30 every morning. They they wake up on their own. They hop in that shower. They get themselves dressed. They're like laying their outfits out the night before they make their beds Jeez. and again i don't for are any these, parent are you sure there's feeling not been shame, a substitution of we're doing job. blood tests right now just to make sure they're the same kids <laughs> this is not how it normally goes yeah, like yeah. normally we're like waking them up at seven and then like again at seven ten, and then again at seven thirty-five, and then we're Book hustling it. in yeah, the yeah. car to the school that's two blocks away yeah, yeah. you know what i mean that's normally what's happening but we're in just a we're just in a real good stretch right now. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah. 
How about you? Um, so again, just to recap, I'm crushing it. Go you're, ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your turn. Yeah, you're killing it. Um, and my yard looks great. Go ahead. It does look great. Uh, yeah. I mean, I th- it's I, it's a lot of things right now. I feel like um, you know, your point. Really glad the kids are back in school, but just with everything that Covenant has gone through over the last six months, I think um, it's sort of you know we're not going back to the school or the church mm-hmm. right now yep. where we usually have school. Um, yeah. Hopefully that'll be in the next few months, at least by New Year. Um, and we're super thankful for uh, the church that's hosting us, and they are absolute angels. And so mm-hmm. that's been great because they are just wonderful, and yeah. it's plenty of space. But you know, it's just not home, and right. so I think it's it's a little bittersweet. Um, and I think a lot of families and parents and kids have a lot of different feelings about that. Um, our kids somehow have been pretty okay with it, which I'm really thankful for. Uh, they're really glad to be back in school. Um, they're, you know, again, they're kind of like, there's, there's quirks to this school that that covenant doesn't have and vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, they'll come in and be like, you know, we're just not used to this or we wish there was, this was here or that their gym is over here and ours is there. So there's stuff like that that they're getting used to. That's, you know, are we locked on the location of the gym? (laughs) Is that still? Can hey guys, we still move thank it? you for hosting us. Just one, <laughs> one quick Couple pushback. Couple notes. Pray about this. Pushback here. Pray about the location of the gym. Yeah. Um. So you know, and I think just um with me and Annie and a lot of our friends, um, just a lot of emotions. You know, yeah. going back and yeah. and feeling a lot of things and and being reminded of a lot of things and all that. So you know, and I think too, holding a lot of space for like people feel all over the map. You know, like people have a lot of feelings they're feeling from Mm -hmm. this is great. Let's move forward and go to like, you know, some kids are really having a hard time Mm -hmm. going back. And so, so that's been kind of a, um, you know, kind of tricky to walk through and then just trying to take care of myself and the kids and Annie or, you know, care for them well and all that, because I can, for as much as I'm an artist and emotional, I can just sort of power through things if I'm not careful. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to be mindful of myself. Um, so that's been a lot of things, you know, yeah. good and tricky and sad and all those things. Um, but I think ultimately kids are really glad to be back. I keep asking, you know, how's it going? You all enjoy it? And they're like, yeah, it's like glad to be back and yeah. see my friends. So that's mm-hmm. good. I'm thankful for that. And I just think schedule everybody likes having. That's just a global. Yes. It's just nice to have a structure. Yeah. To the day. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And it's nice to not have it for a while, but. But then when you get back into the rhythm, I just feel it like it feels great. Even even my covenant parent friends for wherever everybody is, everybody agrees. Like you can feel by the end of the summer, like, okay, okay, 100%. let's get everybody back to some kind of group. I mean, there's the, that, uh, the Christmas song and mom and dad can hardly wait oh, for no. school to start again. That's just Christmas break. Yeah. That, <laughs> it's just, that's summer even, that's break is one. like five Christmas breaks. <laughs> um, he took that from a summer song idea and realized it wasn't working and then just moved it to the Christmas song. Uh, the, um, it was a Labor Day song. It's beginning originally. a lot like, like Labor, Labor Day. Day. That was the original. Trifling in the <laughs> woods. <laughs> Skiing on the lake. But uh, so that's good. You know, I'm glad that they're glad to be back. That would that'd be hard if they weren't. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, just I love fall. Arsenal's back playing soccer again, John. Yeah, that always good. We're two and zero. Oh. That gives me joy. Can we take a minute to just talk about soccer for a oh, second? Oh man, that game the other night. I mean, just having Walker on. Even yes. in the interview, he mentions wanting to guard Messi. Yes, you know that, that was what a that game. game. For those who don't know what we're talking about, we we just have Walker Zimmerman um, on the podcast who plays for Nashville SC, also plays for Team USA. He's an amazing soccer player, obviously. And and how do you say his first name? Lionel? It's just Walker. Just Walk. W-A-L-K-E-R. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, so it's a hard K? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Lionel. It's, yeah. Lionel. Well, it's how everybody that I ever have heard him that okay. have said that name say it. Okay. For a long time, I just thought it was Lionel. Lionel yeah. Messi. It's a, but it's well, Lionel Messi. It should be Lionel Richie. But well, that's... that's <laughs> Lionel is just We need to workshop a uh, Halloween costume. <laughs> with that. May not go over well. Just, a really anyway. short Lionel Richie with like a <laughs> soccer kid on. Soccer. Uh, <laughs> be amazing. He only plays soccer on the ceiling. <laughs> um, 
Anyway, Messi, who is I mean, greatest you know, player of all time. way more about this than yeah, I do. Greatest player of all time. Greatest player of all time who just uh, joined the Inter Miami team. Yep. Which is huge. Yeah. And then they're going to play in Nashville for a final. It's massive. Yeah, it was a big game. And so, and the game, he Messi scores, yeah. which is an amazing goal. An amazing goal. And then we score and it's tied up. And then they, what I love about it is that they go straight to penalty kicks yeah. after. After regular time is uh, up, heartbreaker. They go penalty kick, penalty kick, to the point where you're supposed to normally just do five, and then it's done. But they had to keep going, keep going, keep going to the point where the goalies are kicking yeah, against themselves. Yeah. yeah, and then and our goalie yeah. was blocked by their yeah. goalie. I mean, what a game, John, John, Dave, John, yep. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Sorry. There's yeah. so many Johns I didn't know. Yeah, of. no, it's a... You're I, talking to me. It's me. Yeah, yeah, right okay. here. Um, have you noticed that your hair isn't looking as healthy as it used to? And look, maybe wow. you're starting to see more of your scalp or you're self-conscious oh about thinning gosh. patches. Well, may, I, maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Who's to say? I mean, you're pointing look, look, it out. Hey, hey, hey. I know, I know, I know. It can be frustrating. It can be frustrating. I know. But with Nutrafol, you don't have to just accept it. You can do something about it. That's so true, Dave. Yeah. Nutrafol, did you know this? It's okay. the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement. Mm -hmm. It's clinically shown to improve hair growth, visible thickness, and strength. There you go. You did know you, how I love strength. Well, did you know I love visible thickness? Did you know this, John? Nutrafol's physician formulated hair growth supplements use science backed ingredients. They're drug free. Get the drugs out of here. Out okay? of here. I don't Patented want them. technology provides consistent, reliable results. Okay. Let, I'll see that and, and I'll raise you. Oh, Dave, ooh. did you know that thinning hair is different for men and women? Ooh. Nutrafol has multiple unique formulas to provide exactly what their body and hair need to grow based on their biology, age, and other lifestyle factors. Okay, I'm just, this is me just leveling with you. I didn't know that. Okay. Okay. But I do know this. You can go to Nutrafol.com to take their health wellness quiz. Identify causes of your thinning hair, and Nutrafol will give you a personalized plan just for you. It'd be the Johnny Mac plan. That's right. For better hair, health, through whole body wellness. That's right. I love quizzes, too, mm. especially online quizzes. <laughs> and while you're there, take the first step to visibly thicker, healthier hair. For a limited time, Nutrafol is offering our listeners $10 off their first month so subscription gracious. and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com and enter the promo code DADVILLE. Okay, buckle up. Find out why over 4,000 healthcare professionals recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. Nutrafol.com, spelled N U T R A F O L dot com promo code tell him John Dadville that's, that's Nutrafol dot com promo code tell him Dave Dadville John I, I've got a new nickname for you what's that <laughs> Slim Shade E because you have been <laughs> rocking some cool shades lately you know what I have and I, I you know I saw you coming over the yep. horizon yep. Yep. And if I didn't have these knock around shades yeah. on, I wouldn't have known that it was you. I was trying to sneak up and scare you. Yeah, but you couldn't knock because <laughs> I have these knock arounds on. Yeah. Did you know, Dave, knock around is the original affordable sunglass company offering quality shades that won't uh, break the bank. It means a lot to me, John. Yeah. I want to say that. Uh -huh. It feels like they see me and they see my bank account situation and they're going, we don't want you to not be able to look straight at the sun. <laughs> just because you don't have the money and that means a lot to me okay they are so great they have so many different color combinations 17 unique frame styles mm -hmm. and they're offered with both standard uv 400 protection and polarized lenses and don't forget dave knock around also has kid size sunnies oh i love some kid size sunnies yep. even on my face they're too small but i feel young and cute and you know what check this out john you can customize your own pair of sunglasses on knockaround.com you can choose the color of each arm the frame the lens is, this is awesome. I'm designing some right now. It's just been in my browser because I'm nervous. And John, the reason that I'm nervous is yeah. because I'm going to look so cool stepping yeah. out. It's going to feel like 1987, me stepping out of DeLorean. I dropped the sunglasses down, do the wink at the camera. Right. Well, it wasn't the movie like 1988, like, just, you, you should probably say okay. something else right here. This well, it's, I tell you what, Dave. It's going to feel price-wise like Ooh. you're in 1987. Oh. 
Ooh. You got to check out knockaround.com for all the latest releases, including a partnership with Major League Don't Baseball, Good night. where you can buy sunglasses with the logo and colors of your favorite MLB team. Here is what you do, okay? Yep. Since you're a loyal Dadville listener out there, people, you yep. can head on over to knockaround.com and use the promo code DADVILLE15 anytime, anytime. <laughs> For 15% off your order. That's right, Dave. Go to knockaround.com and use the promo code DADVILLE15 for 15% off your order of an awesome new pair of sunglasses. They were great penalties, too. I mean, that's something you hear a lot in the soccer world is like when there's shootout, you know, like a penalty shootout. You know, a lot of people will be like, oh, some bad penalties. Somebody skies it over yeah, or yeah. misses to the right or left or gets right. blocked. And there were... Those were great penalties. Mm-hmm. Every and, and Nashville SC is typically really great at that. Oh, we really? Won, yeah, we won another penalty shootout a couple games ago before that. But you know, the, the, the common sentiment I've seen, you know, following some of the players and the Instagram, you know, Nashville SC's Instagram, it's like if you're going to lose, lose to Lionel Messi. I mean, it stinks. Yeah. You don't want it to happen, but you can almost feel like it's like, look, man. I mean, and if you anyone who's listening and doesn't know much about Messi or wonders about his brilliance, the goal he scored against us is probably the paramount example of what that guy can do. It was Because he had four or five defenders on him in the nanosecond of space that created in that second, in that moment, he found and scored on. And it's just, that is, it's miraculous what that guy can do. Crazy. Yeah, it's true. It's like, it, it felt like, other than... Nashville losing the game ultimately. It it kind of was like, jeez, that game kind of had everything, and the fact that like when it when it went down to the penalty kicks, Amy and I are, and the girls are watching the game, and we're like, the, just the pressure uh. is mounting, and the thing that we don't like about it is like, not only is w- uh, one team gonna lose, which obviously is gonna be the case, but one person is going to lose this yeah, whole thing yeah, yeah, yeah. for their yeah, team. That's right. And we were kind of happy that it came down to the goalies because at yeah, least yeah, yeah. you're like, well, this that's is not, not what, what they he do. does. That's right. You know? Although their goalie, I mean, that, that, that's one of the best goalie like penalty kicks I've ever seen. Really? Oh, he just roofed it. I mean, he was amazing. Yeah. And ours, I think, was on, on target. It just yeah. you know, got blocked. It was it was cool watching that game after just having talked with, with Walker because – you know, those moments that are so, there's so much pressure. Yeah. So much pressure. So many people watching. Yeah. The, the stadium is full. Messi's there. This is like a moment in yeah. history. Yeah. And knowing, no, 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 he loves this moment. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I would be throwing, oh. just all, everything yeah. would just be coming out of my body. Yeah. Just throwing up everything. He's like, he's built for this. Oh, he's like never more. He's like he's back at Dave and Buster's, just in his zone right now. He's me at the buffet at Pizza Hut, knowing exactly which ones to get on the first round, which ones to get on the second. Round. The dessert pizza is third round. Yeah, and which if, plate to get? Don't get the top one. Go to no, the no. third one. It's warmer. warmer. It's always warmer. It's always warmer. Um, wait until they put the new Coke in the machine, oh then go gosh. get it because yep. that's the best. Randy's about to start his shift, <laughs> and he will give you. All the Parmesan cheese you want. Uh, Randy Parm. <laughs> Randy, Randy Parm. Parm. It's a work release situation. Um, yeah, so, you know, that was really fun. Glad that soccer's back. EPL. So Arsenal's doing well. The, Arsenal's doing well. Yeah. Um, and, you know, happy about the new music, Johnny. I mean, how do... How this do this record of yours music? is going to be great. When does it come out? September 29th? No, October 22nd. October 22nd. Okay. Oh, that's right. Wurtz's comes out the September that feels right. I like said that. that, and I don't know. No, October 20th. We can fix 20th. that in post. We'll just have Jason. <laughs> we'll just like, uh, October, October 22nd. <laughs> Was that That's Kermit? not Jason's voice. <laughs> <laughs> October 22nd, Dave. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> uh, yeah, so good. Check it. You know, yeah. I'm, 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 I, I do love the fall. I love the fall. Oh, I do, so too. So I'm excited about that. I've got um, Lady Asia's, you know, coming up we got a few more this this fall yeah. which would be great and so it's good man i'm like and yeah. how has been that's okay <laughs> start. that's okay speaking start of editing <laughs> how has being on the road been good i mean they're the best 
Literally, yeah. like they are the best. Their crew is amazing. They're amazing. The shows are so much fun. They couldn't be kinder and more considerate and helpful. It's great. It is. I'm probably spoiled. I don't know that I'll ever do a tour that is this yeah. like. Um, it's definitely a accommodating. Tour. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they are, and the crowds are great. It's been awesome. What's your favorite non-musical thing about being on the road? Wow. Non. I think the cities. Like, you know, we've got, we're doing some fun, like we're doing New oh, you're York, getting ready to do the, Boston, the real Philly, yeah. you know, th- that, especially the places I don't get a lot, like Philly or Boston, you know, to wake up in the morning, walk, I mean, it's what you and I talk about, I'm just kind of walking around for forever, seeing all yes. this, because you have all day. It's so, so fun. It's really cool. Really cool. Are you listening to music and stuff like that as you're walking oh, around? Always. I actually try to listen to bands from those places. You know what I wanted to mention? I wanted to mention this. Uh, I'm glad you said that because it reminds me of rem, reminded me of this. I'm not drunk right oh, now. Oh, okay. I don't know what's happening. I'm glad you reminded me because I definitely was forgetting that. Dave Barnes, ladies and gentlemen, he and I played a thing a couple of weeks ago, and um, I flew in for it. You were on vacation with the family, so you had to rent a car and drive. Like how how long? Eight hours or something. Seven, like that? yeah. Seven hours. Six. Dave listened to front to back my entire, entire catalog. catalog. And I texted you this at, that night um, when you had sent me like all your um, criticism of how it could have been better. Um, I was like, I just, it was such, it was so flattering that someone, I don't even expect like my number one fan to do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if someone had said, Hey, I got a show. Like, hey, I just just listened to your entire catalog on the, on the way here. We would probably get a restraining order and, and <laughs> for that. Person. There's other cops are walking in the backyard. Yeah, they're close. Um, <laughs> no, it was so, it was so nice. I thought I, it, was it was really so sweet. I wanted fun. I wanted people to know that you did that because that that was I, like as a musician, as peers, that's such a cool thing that you did. So. It was so fun. It was for those so listening. If you're fun. like a a teacher, go through all your teacher friends' work plans or something. What do you what do they call work those? Plans. Work plans. Yeah. Uh, uh, lesson plans. Lesson plans. Lesson plans. I don't know what the equivalent yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. But it was it was really nice. Well, you, you know, that. you know, uh, somebody had texted me uh, a fan, uh, a listener. I hate that word. A listener had texted me through Instagram and was like. Hey, it's, I, I can't remember if he, if he was like, it's been a minute, so I'm re-listening, or if he was like, there's a lot of music I, I didn't know I hadn't heard. And so uh-huh. he had just started at the beginning and listened through. And I'm telling you, people that are listening to this that have music, like have artists they love, be it me and John or whoever, mm-hmm. I don't know if there's a bigger compliment. Yeah. I really don't. Like, yeah. I think, I think uh, just to, because I think, I think you'll agree, John, I, I, I'll say it for myself, but like, you know, I'm thinking about that when I make music. Mm-hmm. It, this isn't throwing things at a wall. Like I'm very conscious of what's become bef- before that I've written and I'm yeah. trying to build on that. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to take you somewhere, even if that means 12 records later, I really am. Yeah. And I so mean, down, down to the amount of space between songs on a record. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's no, part of it. It's very thoughtful. Yeah. And so it just means the world when someone's like, Hey, I'm going to actually sort of listen to it that way. Yeah. Cause it's like, thank you. Like, yeah, it's exactly what we're trying to do. And we were just talking before we started recording when we were talking about Wurtz's new record and just new music and just the state of the music business yeah. in general right now and how people concern, consume music. Again, I haven't been drinking. <laughs> what is going What's on? What's in that water bottle? <laughs> is that it's vodka? water? I don't know. Is that vodka? Um, but, it's, uh, but it's so hard to get people's attention now. Just, yeah. just to get them, even just your fans. Yeah. And and partly because of again the just the way that social media is and the way the music business is right now and there's just so much music out there and also, you know, we're in our forties. A lot of our fan base, yeah. we're, we're not like nineteen anymore. Yeah. Like we got stuff going on. Like yeah. it's hard to take a minute to listen to stuff. So the fact that yeah, any anyone listening to to just sit down and listen through a catalog of whatever band or artist that you love, it's, um, it's the highest. Well, and you know, too, this is the last thing I'll say about that. I think I would say this is the same. It's true for you. 
you've never been better at doing it than you have. It's just 10,000 hours. It's not, this isn't some brag. It's just like, we've just never done it longer. Right. Right. And so I think I've never paid more attention to making it than I do now. I've Mm -hmm. never cared more about it than I do now. I know the same is true for you. I would imagine like, and so I think that's, what's hard as you keep making records, you get older is it's kind of like, gosh, I really think this is good. Yeah. I've never been better at it. I've never cared more about it. But because, you know, like everybody's busy, it's just hard to get everybody's yeah. attention. So it just means a lot when people are like, man, I really listen to the new stuff. Or I like took an afternoon on this long drive or bike ride or whatever, or run, and was mm-hmm. just like, I'm going to listen to two or three Dave's records in a row. It's like, mm-hmm. that's awesome. It is. Super cool. Yeah. And friends that do that for you really do love you, by the way. <laughs> um, okay. So what we wanted to do today with the time we have left, with the two minutes we have left, is um, John... Uh, I told John I wanted to do this and he was like, okay, I will, I will humor you. I will humor your weird thing. Um, there is a guy every year and now I can't remember who he is. His name. Uh, oh, I just had him. I just had him pulled yeah. up. Hang on. He posts for father's day. And so this was initially going to be like a father's day thing. And then we decided to not do it, but I just think it is so stinking hysterical. I was like, we still need to give an episode to this. Yeah. And John was like, okay, we can do it. So what we did, what, what he posts, did you find it? Is it Ryan Nani? Yes. Ryan Nani. Nani. Uh, as in yeah. Nani, Nani, boo, boo. He's got a, um, he's got, I think he, uh, I think his handle is celebrity hot tub. Yes. Uh, and I think he's a and comedian. His picture, I don't know what I'm, he does. If I'm not mistaken, is Jeff, um, not Bridges. Goldblum. Not Goldblum. Bridges. No. No. Jeff. It's, it's the other guy. From Dumb and Dumber. It's from, yeah, from Dumb and Dumber, but it's Speed. I'm pretty oh sure it's gosh. him from Speed. I only know that because that was the only cool yes. movie that growing up we you, had on well, VHS and I cool. watched it over You're and cool over kid. again. But he posts this thing out, every... <laughs> I'm starting to worry about you. Um, he posts this thing, uh, and he has last year where, where like he just basically on Father's Day he'll say um, uh, something to the effect of "This is our chance on Father's Day to once again for dads to post the most kind of dad thing that they've done." That's yeah. kind of yeah. the way that he that he sets it up, and so it it is like one of my favorite things every year to read these things cuz it's like people just post the most it's just dads posting the most thing. so what i'm going to do is and let me say this let me before we get into that let me say this to the women out there women um ladies ladies this is a i'm letting you in behind the the, the curtain a little bit here this mm-hmm. is where you get to see Oz as he maybe doesn't want to be seen Right. He'd rather be the big imposing eyes, and this is where you're seeing it. And he might, you might hear all this stuff, and then you might say, "Hey, honey, listen to this." And then afterward, he might be like, "Sweetie, that's not me. I don't. Yeah, I wouldn't he, do any of those. Yeah. He's lying." Let's to have you. grace for that. He's lying. Let's have grace for that, ladies. Now, having said that, I haven't heard any of these. <laughs> okay, two, <laughs> two, <laughs> two guys. This is a chance for you to be seen. This is a chance mm-hmm. for you to not be lonely and see that John and I and whoever wrote these tweets are with you and yep. I bet you relate to me. So I'm just going to start reading these okay. and we'll move through these. Okay. So what I did is I took screenshots of responses to that initial tweet that made me laugh that okay. are just very dad thing. Okay. One of them this is from Joe Moore for the last year. My daughter has been collecting seeds from fruit she eats and giving them to me to grow. I've taken this entirely too seriously and now have eight different fruit trees growing. I even gave like 10 apricot trees away to friends and neighbors. <laughs> I thought that was amazing. Good for him. Good for Joe. Here's another one. Andrew Hammond says, I, once again, found myself in a Home Depot chatting it up with strangers and convinced a guy to buy a lawnmower. In my defense, he asked for my opinion. I mean, that is such a dad thing. Is there anything, this has never happened to me, but if I were at Home Depot and someone, just a a, not, a civilian? Yeah, yeah. Walked up to me uh-huh. as another civilian and yeah. asked my opinion on something. I feel like that would be like, oh, I've made it. What I'm a compliment. A, I'm a man now. You look like someone that knows something. Yeah, about like this. I'm going to go, you don't have an orange apron on, but I'm going to ask you. Anyway. And you know what? I, I'll go, I, I'll, I'll, I'll meet you on the other side of that. If I'm looking at mowers and a man walks over and goes, ah, I'd, I'd avoid that one, I'm immediately like, tell me why. Yeah. I'm not like, I have no. Like, shut up, dude. What do you know? Yeah. I'm going to be like, what's going on? This man, guy's on it. lived some life. Oh, man. It leaks oil. On? Like, yeah. it just doesn't cut. I mean, I'm in, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Nate Scott 
did a 6 a.m. Home Depot run with no project or agenda. <laughs> Just wanted to see what was going on. Check, check some stuff out. Puttered around a bit. I'm surprised it wasn't Nate that recommended the lawnmower. It might have been. I I can feel how close I am to that. Oh. Like, if Amy and the girls left town for a little bit and I was home alone. Yeah. It could, I, I could see day three or four. I was going to say, that, that's, I was going to say, it wouldn't be day one. It wouldn't be no. day two. It'd be tempting day three. Day four or five is happening for sure. <laughs> like you are definitely getting up on that Saturday morning and going, I'm just going to go to Home Depot. You're standing behind the guy who's unlocking the doors. <laughs> just waiting to get it. <laughs> it's like 459. <laughs> How is Home Depot not a sponsor of this podcast? I know. Come on, Home Depot. <laughs> Jason, can you work on that? <laughs> the, um, I think there is something. I, you know what? I, I watch this. Home Depot. Home Depot is to men as the mall is to women. Should we just shut it off now? I feel like I just knocked that out of the park. No, my. I, I think you're. You might be right. My my initial thought was: Is that outdated though? Is that an outdated reference? Is that still the case? Well, it, let's forget online. I'm just saying, like yeah. you know, shopping. I'm saying, like you know, if a mom, I, I just know. There's some days where it's like, I'm just going to walk, like Annie's, it's yeah, UAL. Yeah, yeah. She's like, I'm just going to walk down and see what they have. That's yeah. what you do at Home Depot as a man. You're That's just like, true. I just don't, I'm going to see what true. they have. I'm just driving there to see what they have. Well, what'd you buy, honey? I got a new drill set. Well, why'd you get a new, I don't know. It had some bits yeah. I haven't had and I lost that. Honey, why'd you buy that skirt? You have a hundred skirts. Well, they had a red one and I don't, I have it in blue, but not in the red. And we have a thing coming. It's kind of the same thing. John, hey, Dave. You, John, would you, Dave? John, Dave. Would you talk to the people for a second? Yeah, actually, I've got something on my mind that tell, I'd love to talk tell about. Tell them. Do you, Dave, you remember all those life insurance ads on the radio when you were a kid? No. Yeah, me neither. You know why? Why? Because that was for your parents to worry mm. about. Well, guess what, Dave? What? Now you're the parent. <gasps> and now it's time to get life insurance to help protect your family. Mm. Now, I got some good news for okay. you. Don't be worried. Okay. Fabric by Gerber Life makes it quick and easy to get a high quality policy so your family is covered if the unexpected happens. Yeah, and it's not something we like to talk about, John. Not right. a fun conversation. I'm not yeah. going to coffee going, hey, let's exactly. talk about life insurance, mm-hmm. you know, except with someone who works for a life insurance company. <laughs> and right. even and then, then I want to do it. I don't want to do it, okay? <laughs> but I remember the feeling of a weight being lifted off my shoulders when Annie and I first got life insurance. True story. Mm-hmm. It was like, it wasn't fun to do, but yep. glad we had done it. That's Amen. right. It's really important, and Fabric makes it a simple, affordable price. Fabric was designed by parents for parents to help you get high quality, surprisingly affordable term life insurance policy in less than 10 minutes. You got 10 minutes. You're super busy, but you still got 10 minutes. Fabric has flexible policies that fit your family and your budget with quality policies like a million dollars in coverage for less than a dollar a day. Get your personalized quote in just minutes and then apply when it's convenient for you. It's all online and on your schedule. You can go from start to covered in less than 10 minutes with no health exam required. Not sure if life insurance is right for you? We'll take Fabric's quick 60 second quiz to find out. Oof. There's no risk to apply. And they have a 30-day money-back guarantee, and you can cancel at any time. Anytime, John? Anytime. Fabric has partnered with Gerber Life, trusted by millions of families like yours for over 50 years. Join the thousands of parents who trust Fabric to protect their family. Apply today in just minutes at meetfabric.com slash dadville. That's meetfabric.com slash dadville. M-E-E-T fabric.com slash dadville policies issued by western southern life assurance company not available in certain states prices subject to underwriting and health questions johnny david hey are you coming to my tailgate party oh man man. oh what I don't, I don't, that was a character I was trying on. Oh, okay. Feel great I'm going to roll with it. You but know the what, question Dave? still remains, John. Yeah. Are you coming to my table? I party? wouldn't miss it. And you know what? To celebrate, I just bought 14 Good 30 gracious. ounce crew. Cru- <laughs> Is that too many? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> I'm so excited. I was going to do 13, but I was like, that's an unlucky number. I went with 14 30 ounce cruiser insulated tumblers from Simple Modern. I Look, I love my Simple Modern tumbler, but why did you get 14, John? Well, I got one for every SEC football mm. team. Yeah. It's football season, Dave. Are you not ready for the football? You know I'm ready, man. That's still that character I was doing earlier. This is the year, John. It's our time. The year. 
I, you're for what? Like, whose time is it? I mean, I try to keep it ambiguous, so I won't be disappointed oh, by a certain oh, team. Oh, oh. But my Bulldogs, Hail State, are going to do some damage this season. So you think Georgia's going to win it all again? No, 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 no. Not those Bulldogs. Come on. Oh. How long have we known each other, John? Sorry. Sorry. Let me make it up to you. Okay. 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 I'm going to give you my special, simple, modern <gasps> discount code to make up for that huge FUPA. F- FUPA. No, I, the, well, th- let's say the irony in saying FUPA was FUPA. 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 You FUPA. fauxpa how to say FUPA. Yeah, we'll make that work. Yeah, in that's post. okay. Yeah. yeah, you can use this discount code to get great coffee drinking options as the weather Ooh. starts to cool down. Listen, no, 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 John. Nice try, but I already know the, I already know the code. Okay? Uh, I'm in the know. They gave it to both of us? I'm uh. in the know, yeah. Go to simplemodern.com slash dadville, and by sharing your email, you'll get a unique discount code just for you or bundle and save for back to school and football season. This should be your go-to brand for your family. Football. And I will say, uh, to no one's shock, I'm not the stereotypical, like, handy right. man. Right. You know what I mean? But I still, if I walk around Home Depot, I, I, I kind of want everything. Yeah. yeah. I, you see little things and you're like, I have a version of that, but this thing... Has a like the handle goes all the way down. <laughs> that would be nice. Do you know for what? that one time? Do you know what every I'm... five years when you have to use it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even yeah. know where that thing is anymore. No, I have no idea. You're gonna where get home and realize you threw it away three years ago. <laughs> the th- you know what? I'm always dangerously close to buying every time I walk into Home Depot. Extra Ryobi batteries. Just oh, yeah. grab one extra. I'm just yes. here. I'm here. Just grab the pack. I'm here. I'll if it's on it. sale or anything like that, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want to lose money. <laughs> It's You're right. It like, is the same mentality. <laughs> it's like whatever your version of that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, okay, Luke Knox. This is for anybody who's doing a renovation right now. When my contractor emailed professional computer renderings of how he would redo my front step, instead of saying that's fine, I, <laughs> I would Photoshop my own suggestions over his work and send it back. <laughs> Uh, so one of the themes I realize of these is the braggadociousness of dads. Like this yeah. very kind of like, nah, that's not how you do it. That's yeah. not the mower you want. This is the mower you want. Yeah. That's not how you do the front steps. This is how you do it. Even though I'm paying you right. to do this. this yeah, is it is kind of funny because it, it takes a certain amount of self-awareness and humility to even have that person be a part of the equation. <laughs> but now that they're in, it's like, yeah. I sit at the head of the table. <laughs> but you put my... Food here. Yeah, but I sit there. Uh, <clears throat> from Lamello's burner account. Made my family watch when I climbed the roof to trim a tree bench and repair a shingle. <laughs> I just love that. All the kids, come outside. I'm going to go up there. I want you to see me do this. <laughs> well, this makes me think of, I just painted our deck. Oh, yeah. And it took me two solid days of work. Which, actually, you came over and you gave me a break and you worked on it. So, thank you. Oh, the whole time, at once it's <laughs> done, there's a, little, there's a little window that I never go and stare out that window at the deck. Never. <laughs> but I just can't. I mean, I would just walk over to that window. I got my coffee. I'm just staring out there. And, I'm, and, and there's a part of me that's like, when is the family going to gather yeah, yeah, and insane. kind of pay yeah. homage to yeah, what yeah. I've done yeah. here. No one cares. No. I should have made them just watch. Watch you do it. I mean, I had this thought this morning. I did something for Annie that was the most trivial thing ever. And I was so proud of myself. And I almost said, hey, do you, uh, and then I was like, she does 900 of these a day. True. True. A thousand of these a day. Yeah. And, and never is like, babe, you see, I went to the grocery and got the, remember Dave, you asked for that cereal. I got it for you. So... But I, I don't know. I found something online she couldn't find. And I really wanted her to be like, thank you for doing that. How'd you, how, did, how did you walk me through? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Justin Ferguson said, developed a way too complicated organizing system for a baseball card collection. <laughs> Can I tell you something that has happened? I have two friends that will go unnamed who are our age, our collective age. Mm-hmm who are in, back into baseball card collecting in a like grown up version of it. So I they're think like I know who both these people yeah, are. Yeah, you, you probably do. But they buy them, you send them off to get graded and then it comes back and then that's how you sell them again. Oh, okay. 
A, I didn't, I, I didn't know the baseball cards was still a thing. Yes. I didn't know that that you sent them off to get great. What does that mean? Like that means you graded can, like this one's worth mint, more, not mint. Oh, okay. Less than I don't know what the gradings are, but yeah. it's like because you can only sell them once they've been graded, and there's an official, there's like a company that does that, oh, and wow. then you can go to those people who buy cards as investments, and you can say, hey, this is like a Mark McGuire mint or brand new. But or, they don't. Do they still sell? Little packs of baseball oh, yeah. cards. Yeah, they sell with soccer the, cards. The stick football. of gum in them. They don't sell Remember sticks that? of gum anymore. Uh, they sell a USB stick now. It's just <laughs> it's more upgraded. Um, it takes you to Amazon, and then you order some gum. <laughs> the minute you plug it in the computer, it sends you the gum. Um, no, it's like it's it's everything. It's a whole thing. Yeah, yeah. And now what's crazy is they'll do like pieces of a uniform. I mean, and, and like like it's way. Mm-hmm. You know, ours was tops or Donruss or whatever it yeah. was, you know. Now it's like it'll have like a – the card will have a s- real signature on it or like a – I mean, they've really upped the ante on like, you know, what what you can get as opposed to like, yeah. you know. That's cool. I like that. I and like that that's she, still a thing kind of. Well, I was a, never into it. I was co- never into COVID kind of kicked it back in for some of my friends. Like Because, you know, yeah. you were sitting around uh-huh. and like that industry – a buddy of mine who's really into it, he's like, dude, it – went out of control and went gangbusters because mm. it was like all these dads were kind of sitting around kind of like what can i do what can... and it was like oh i wonder what's and all of a sudden it just became like this thing again yeah um oh i love this one <clears throat> treb law says i trimmed my neighbor's tree without telling them <laughs> <laughs> that one really got me i have questions about that was it were the branches hanging over or did it start this way did he start to trim the neighbor's tree, but it was the branches that were like over on his side of the property. And I then, read and then that like it had carried away. No, no, no. Because the next guy said, I did this with the chainsaw and a down limb that was straddling the property line. But this guy's saying, I think he just went into the yard and trimmed them. <laughs> Which is, I, I can't tell you how much I love that. Yeah. Yeah. That's a very risky Again, move. it's a, it's That's a, a risky it's this, move. It's this braggadocious, it's a very like confident stance. Because you could hear that. I could I could see some I don't want to gen- generalize here but I could see some women hearing that and being like oh, that's so nice how nice but the guys like do- sorry don't you come over and mow my lawn you, I'm trying to imagine if he had walked out if he got caught <laughs> The only thing that plays to me is that if it's like a widow or you know Oh uh, that's true I'm it, I'm imagining it being like like well, the could, two of us well, or could, something like look, that. We don't know the story. Right. But I'm saying like how when he's Hey Ralph. Oh Chuck, what's up, man? Uh what's go what's going on, man? I ah, just just trimming it up Obviously, for you. Obviously you haven't had time to get to this. <laughs> just trimming it up for you. Okay. Well, you know, didn't no you and then he's got us no, you you needed it. Let me look at yeah. the tree. Yeah. Like or unless it was really obvious. You yeah. know, it's like in the sidewalk or something. But still I'm like I just love that that guy at some point was like <laughs> No, I need to. I need to do this. Yeah, I'm gonna walk in his yard. Yeah, and trim his trees. Yeah, I love that so much. Okay, uh, Phil Murphy. I, I plan lawn mowing patterns. Today is diagonal. Next week is quote unquote arched contour. A real crowd pleaser. I mean, that is <laughs> golden. The the uh, the mowing pattern. It's like it's the same. It's the same thing as like you doing the little thing around the house that you're waiting for your family to notice that you yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, and and they don't care. Yeah, that's this is the forward facing, the outward facing version of that, where it's like someone if you're outside and someone's walking by, you're like, are they gonna notice? Did they notice? They looked. Are they gonna say something to me? Because look at that pattern right there, there. There were two different times this summer where Annie walked in the house and said, "The yard looks great," and I was like, "I'm." I'm second from Was it right after you lowered it a little bit? <laughs> she told me to and I did and it does look better. Yeah. It does. But I couldn't believe she said that. I was like, Oh thanks. She's like, Yeah, it looks great. And then she went about her day and I was like, I mean And she called her friend. She called Amy and she's like, I did it. I did it. So you good. told me that I should do it. I didn't even know it was our yard, honestly. <laughs> I just uh, it really meant a lot to him though, I could tell. I actually I'm tried. Set a reminder. We this do summer, it every month. <laughs> this summer, I really did try some different mowing patterns. Just do zero. Mm-hmm. I couldn't even tell. It was a joke. Um, Brody Logan says, "Taught my son to turn off the lights when he leaves the room to save electricity." 
He now tries to shut off the lights at every store and restaurant. We can- <laughs> <laughs> if he has a YouTube video on how to teach your children Done. to turn the lights off, I will watch that. Well, I, I, the thing, so I, I personally, I don't know. There's a couple of ways that I feel apex dad in my life. Yeah. One of them is how much I do that in our house. Mm-hmm. Like it is, it's a joke how much I do that. Mm-hmm. Like sound machines, lights. I'll look for closets. I'm making sure that the toilets aren't running. I'm. It's like yeah. I'm just always kind of like I got an ear. And now you know, having lived in the house a while, I'll know where the water in the pipes in the wall is coming from to know which toilet's running upstairs. Uh-huh. Yeah, like I'm like ah, oh, that's that one because it's over in this wall. And yeah, you're like I, I mean it's hysterical how yeah. much that stuff like bothers me yeah or if like you know we're going to i'm just like I'm cutting off lights i'm like oh, guys to the point where me and micah have a joke we'll text each other and now we've just added the wives to it we're like he'll he'll just it'll just be a cliff from walk around his house when his finger turning lights <laughs> off because he had medic <laughs> check in mine when it's cold annie will leave the front fireplace on it's a gas fireplace uh-huh. and now it's just my version of that is me walking into the room looking at the fire moving the camera around the front room where nobody is and turning the phone <laughs> off. It's like, it drives me crazy. Um, the smoking musket. I got extreme, extremely upset that my local car wash was bought by Big Car Wash trademark and no longer towel dries the cars. <laughs> mm, I feel the disappointment there. I, I, Annie and I both, I thought we are so adult when we subscribe to that local, the one down there on 8th. Yeah. We we both have you know it's like thirty bucks a month to get and we are always in there. Yeah, it's like I, I actually just got a I got a subscription. I'm telling you, dude, it's like I really did feel like God. I'm like officially old. But you know, I got it for Amy's car, and now I drive that car, and I want to cancel it, but I don't know how to cancel it. I'm like, how do you? I, I <laughs> could go there, but the guy working, he doesn't know. I. Who do I call? I think that is the only way know. you can do it because I asked the guy once. It's like, how do I cancel this? Like, you just come in the office, and I'm like. Oof. You guys got an office? <laughs> just, no one's going to be there. It's the lawn chair by the towel. Yeah. I think. <laughs> um, okay. Um, TF at Seltzer Mom says, bought myself Crocs to go out in and versus the ones I have for home, which <laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> it's like, at what point as a dad are you just like, I don't care? Yeah. I'm really fascinated by this thing. Like, what is the age where you're just like, I don't. Yesterday... I had uh, I hung with a, a friend who's an artist in the morning at Fenwick's, which is like, that's mm-hmm. a lot of music industry people hang out mm-hmm. there. And then I had lunch with a friend at Tap Room right here. I realized at Tap Room, I'd meant to wear my Birkenstocks because they're a little cooler. Mm-hmm. I had my yard mowing flip-flops on, and I never <laughs> knew it for both of them. <laughs> and I had a real moment of shame where I was like, oh my gosh. Because what I did is I took the kids to the school and then went to that breakfast. Yeah. And I just hadn't thought, because I, had, I was wearing them. I had to go out in the front yard or something right. like, yeah. before the kids left. And I just threw on my flip flops and literally looked down and was like, oh my God, Dave, what? You know, for at our school, there's so many people who, who walk from the neighborhood to drop their kids off. And it's one of my favorite things in the world is seeing so many people. Like some people are, or, uh, obviously, many of them are like ready for work, mm-hmm. dressed, mm-hmm. looking good, and all that. There are a lot that do not look good. Yeah. Who are like hair disheveled. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I mean, a, a friend of mine, I just saw him yesterday and I, and I thought, I love how he looks right now. He is coffee in hand. He had like a button down shirt, but with like sweat shorts. <laughs> it look, you know, he looks like he just had to flee from, for his life from oh somewhere. Oh my gosh. And I'm like, I, I kind of love it when I see that. Yeah, yeah. If I saw him like, Anywhere in town, like at Trader Joe's or, yeah. or walking into Fenwick's, I'd be like, good for him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another one, we're gonna, we got more, so I'm going to fly through this. Yeah. Here, we go. Here we go. I refused to turn on my AC in my third floor attic last summer and hung up the energy bills on the fridge to highlight the difference in kilowatt <laughs> consumption. <laughs> Here's another one. Had an offer. This is amazing. Had an offer accepted on a house. In review period, used tax records to identify the neighbor. Cold called the neighbor. Neighbor told me house was a flood magnet, had unpermitted remodel done, did not buy the house. Wow. That's some dad recon right there. Yeah. Um, 
I love this, Mike Ripley. I've somehow gotten into the habit. This is such a dad thing. I've somehow gotten into the habit of looking up planes on FlightAware and announcing to our kids what the airline <laughs> and its departing arrival city is for every airplane that flies over our house. <laughs> uh, okay, I love this. This is another. This is so dad. David Cook says, one became a father. Two climbed on the side table in the maternity so I could fix the wall clock. It was three minutes slow. I mean, is there anything more dad than that? I think it's like once you notice it, it's just, just always gonna. It's something about knowing something needs to be fixed and it not being yours to fix that just always makes yeah. me laugh. Like the yeah. tree next door, you know. Yeah. Um, this guy says, took a four and a half and a one-year-old to Spain for a month with only carry-ons because I refused to pay to check any bags. Good for him. Oh, boy, I love that. Uh, this is great. Um, I have a list of in the notes app of my phone entitled Pig Notes, where I keep track of the size of each pork shoulder I've ever cooked, monitor how long it took, and jot down notes on the strategy as guidance for future me. Future me is like the winner there. Was that Barrett Ward? It, who tweeted well, that. He would have fallen asleep while yeah. he was doing the notes. Um, <laughs> dog sports eagerly volunteered to cut the neighbor's grass while they were on vacation. This kills me. <laughs> this is the part that kills me. Also edged that spot out by the mailbox they always forget, which has bugged me for months. <laughs> and I just, I so identify with all of these. I mean, kills I'm like, I'm there. There I'm is with them. There is a yard adjacent to us that they cut and they don't edge. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, hand on a Bible, 15 different times over the decade we lived in our house, I've almost just walked over and there and been like, I'm sorry, I just have to do this. Yeah. Like, you've gotten all the way to the end. Like, it looks great. Just it's, edge. Just trim. Get it's your not reader. like you don't have anything, like, stuff together. <sighs> like, you're doing great. Does this not bother you? I don't understand. Edging? Okay. A few more here. B bought seven of the same shirt in different colors. Duh. Duh. That's, of course. That's that's. Why is that even in there? Yeah, thank you. That's don't be. That's just economical. Over the years, I've compiled a carefully curated Google Keep grocery list sorted by aisle, so I can make one efficient pass through Publix and not crisscross. We moved across town, and I'll stop I'll now. Shop at a new store. <laughs> I've considered spending a whole afternoon in Publix to remap. <laughs> uh, to remap. Oh my gosh. This is another one. I've been taking pictures of my yard when I'm done cutting and trimming. I think I'm guilty of that, too. I've of done course. That. I've done that. Another one. I've started grading everyone's lawn on my block, <laughs> tracking how well it's cared for and how good it looks. I maintain a spreadsheet to keep track over time. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, the only difference between me and that guy is the spreadsheet. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, it's all up there. here in my, in my brain. <clears throat> Excuse me. Chris Reimer says, took the fam down an extremely muddy and treacherous dirt road. When it got too crazy, we parked to walk the rest of the way. Time to leave, and car was stuck. Dug the tires, had the whole family pushing the car. Wife realizes I had set the parking brake. Pulled right out. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. That is doing that guy zero help in the future conversations with his wife. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he can't be right about anything now. Uh, here's yeah, yeah, you're like screwed. <laughs> here's the other thing, Aaron Ragsdale. Here's another one of these. Installed a shower curtain in the hotel we were staying in, which is pretty dad, but was preceded by this conversation with the front desk. Me, our room doesn't have a shower curtain. Front desk, I don't know what you mean. Me, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I can't reapproach this. Installed a shower way. curtain. Um, okay, a couple more here. Showed up for an oil change 15 minutes before open so I could get a jump start on my Saturday. Told the workers, it's okay, I'll wait. When they informed me of the timing, three men had the same idea. We're all dressed the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is amazing. And here's the last one. <clears throat> I have exclamation points next to this one. Jake McNeil. In an effort to keep the power bill down during summer months, I started to add details of... I can't, I can't laugh. <laughs> Just listen to how genius this is. <laughs> I'm going to reread it. Cause In an effort to keep the power bill down during summer months, I started to add details of turning off lights and not leaving the fridge open in the bedtime stories I tell the children. <laughs> power usage down 1.3. Wow, wow. Thank you very much. <laughs> 
That is ch- that's like a dad that's like, inception. I mean, that's exactly <laughs> what I was about to say. I mean, dude, that's inception that he's just reading stories. Adding. Once upon a time. <laughs> Goldilocks, before she went out, turned off the lights, went out into the front yard. She left the lights on, and she was eaten by a wolf. Oh, my gosh. But not before she had closed the front door. <laughs> and closed the refrigerator. I mean, I, I think, again, I think the theme of why these make me laugh so hard is one of the themes is the dad's feeling this urge to fix things at places that aren't theirs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. This kind of like... Oh man, it makes me laugh. Because there's something, this is my theory behind it. Yeah. You you always have I've got a list of things that I need to do at any given moment that I haven't done yet and yeah. that I probably won't do yeah. today. Yeah, yeah. But there's something about the thing that you need to do and I see it. <laughs> there's less baggage and shame around yeah. that. Yeah. It, so it's easier for me yeah. to go do that thing yeah. like tr- like weed eat around the yeah. mailbox. Because yeah. you never do it. Yeah. There's then, something easier about that. Than painting the chairs in the front yeah. that you need to. Yeah. Like that's, yeah. That, I found, too, with, with days like that for me, I have an app on my phone that's like to do around the house. Mm-hmm. And I will avoid it for weeks. But once I start doing it, Annie laughs because she's like, that, is, that whatever you're doing now, is, it's not <clears throat> like I've, ex- I've done the list and I just start doing other things. Yeah. Because you're in that mode. Well, it's like it, once it gets going, I'm like, yeah. you can't stop You're like, it. It, it took me four months to get in this mode but where I'm, I'm like, I, had, I, yeah. I finally went down to the basement. I put the bad shoes on. Yeah. I went down. So now it's like, now you got to do everything. Shoes? I got my bad shoes. Yeah. It could last days at that way. You may not sleep for yeah. weeks because you're just like, he's, been, he's got his bad shoes on. He's in the mode. Annie, y'all need to come over. John's got his bad shoes on. <laughs>